Here comes the gold. Look at the soldiers. We haven't a chance. You see that bell over there? Yes. It's the assembly bell. When it rings, every soldier in the castle assembles in the great hall. Watch. thousand crowns. It's the tax money. Every penny that Gessler stole from my people this harvest. What is it? Look. It's the bear. Listen to me. I'm Fritz Fertog. They call me the bear. We've heard of you, Fertog. Where's Tell? I want a word with him. I'm Tell. What do you want? My son. I want my son. If you try to keep him from me, I will kill you. Father, what are you doing here? Oh, so there you are. I've come to take you home, boy. And if you want to live, you won't try to stop him. I'm not going home. I came here of my own free will and I'm staying. So that's the way of it. You think you can steal my son from me? You heard what Bruno said. He joined the resistance of his own choice. Choice? You turned his head with your lies, you mean? You know what kind of man I am. I'm a robber and proud of it. I steal for my living. But I don't pretend that I do it for other people's good, like Tell here does. You are just as big a thief as I am. Only I am honest about it. You are not. Look at this gold. This was squeezed from our people by the Austrians. Now Tell's got it. Ask him what he's going to do with it. Just ask him. He's going to give it back to the people, of course. <laughs> you expect me to believe this? It happens to be true. In fact, you're just in time to see it handed over. To the people of Altdorf, with the compliments of the resistance. Satisfied? You are trying to make a fool of me. I will wipe that grin off your face. I'm challenging you, Tell. I want to fight you, Fertog. You hear this, Bruno? There is your great leader for you. A coward. A sniveling coward. Come, boy. We will go home. Wait. If I accept your challenge and win, will you let Bruno stay here? If you will stand up to me in fair fight, with bare hands, I promise you anything. Done. Tell no. You don't know how strong he is. Get back.
It was a good fight. No hard feelings. You won. It was fair. Well, son, I think this is goodbye. No more for you. Look, son, now you must escort the girl to Altdorf. The sun's getting low. We're gonna get started. Help me pack up. Son of Come back. I haven't. I've come for the money you stole. You're getting a bit big for your boots, aren't you, boy? Give me the money. You will get your share if you come and stay here where you belong. Don't you understand anything? That money belongs to the people of Altdorf. They've a hard winter ahead of them. So have I. There's the money. Take it from me. If you think you are big enough, go ahead, son. Whatever you are, you're my father. But I never want to see you again as long as I live! To Bruno! Oh, you're one of Tell's men. <laughs> you were with Tell when he stole the gold. Maybe we can persuade you to help us get it back. Take him away. What's the matter? Can't you see I'm busy? That reminds me. Put the cookie in the pillory for 24 hours. There's too much salt in this soup. It'll be done at once. Uh, uh, Landberger, if I may trouble you. You are troubling me. What is it? There's a man outside. He asked to see you urgently. There are always men outside waiting to see me urgently. But must you interrupt my dinner? But this man is the father of Bruno Fertog, the bandit we're hanging in the morning. They call him the bear. That cutthroat. Send him away. He said he can help us to get back the stolen gold. Oh, he did, did he? That's different. Show him in at once. That's far enough. So this is the notorious bear. A villainous looking creature. Well, what do you want? It's Bruno Landberger. My son. Oh, yes. Found guilty of treason. The execution will take place in the morning. Spare him, Landberger. He's only a boy. He did not know what he was doing. He knew enough to help to steal 5,000 crowns from the treasury. 
hardly the act of an innocent boy. And it was Turtle's fault. He has turned my boy's head with his lies. Oh. I thought all you Swiss regarded Tell with an admiration bordering on idolatry. I... I don't know what this means. All I know is I hate him. He has stolen my son. Interesting. We'll go on. What else have you got to say? Please. If you could get the gold back, would that make any difference for my son? It might, Fat Hog. It well might. And how do you propose to get it back? Raid Tell in his mountains alone? I have got the money, Landburger. I stole it from Tell's men. And you couldn't get it back with a whole regiment. Congratulations. Tell me, where is this money now? You will free my son, Landburger. Can you really be as simple as you appear? How dare you try to bribe me with gold stolen from my own treasury? Don't you realize that all I have to do is to arrest you here and now? It won't be long before you tell us where the money is. I promise you, we have various means of extracting information here. Seize him! <laughs> There was no need for that, Landberger. I came here in good faith, hoping for mercy. The gold is out there on my donkey's panniers. All of it. Every crown of it. Hoffenstahl! Hoffenstahl! Go immediately and get that gold. At once, Landberger. You will let my boy go. How can I? In return for what is, after all, rightfully the Emperor's. But there is a way. Anything. Bring me William Tell. Alive or dead. Before the time of your son's execution tomorrow. And the boy goes free. I hate Tell. That is true. But Landburger, I'm a Swiss. Is there no other way? No. All I want is tell. Alive or dead? I will do it. He's here again. He says he wants to speak to you. Put up your crossbows. I come in peace. I need your help. Go on. It is Bruno. They are going to hang him tomorrow. When? Bruno? When did this happen? How? He was arrested in Outdorf. They have got him in the dungeons. There's no one else I can turn to to help me save my son. Don't trust him, Tell. Remember, he's got no liking for you. What does this matter when my son's life is in danger? You are the only man who can help me, Tell. All right. I'll come. Thank you. You say Bruno is in the lower dungeon? That is what they told me. Mm. Come on. The only way into the dungeon is through the castle itself. Save my life. Sit down. I will get drink.
So. I don't see much chance of getting to Bruno in the dungeon. We must base our plan on a rescue during his work to the scaffold. Now look here. Here's a dungeon, here's a scaffold. During the time it takes Bruno to walk to the square, we've got to get him out. Why? Why do you risk your life for my son? In the resistance, we stick together, Fertog. Look, let me show you something. Can you break this? <laughs> you joke. Now, try breaking the lot. <clears throat> no. It's the same with the resistance. One by one, the Austrians could break us as easily. But together, like these sticks, no one can. Strange ideas of hospitality, my friend. You knew I meant to kill you. I knew on the mountain, when you tried to push me into the ravine. But what I don't know is why. I don't want to kill you. Not anymore. You saved my life on the mountain. And I have changed my mind about a lot of things. I made a bargain with Kessler. I see. Go on. He promised me that Bruno would go free if I brought you to him, alive or dead, before the hour of execution tomorrow. did it. You actually did it. Now you will release my son. I'm a man of my word. 
even when dealing with thieves and cutthroats. Take this man and deliver his son to him. Sound, Lamberger. I want the gold back. Where is it? In the chest, eh? All right, unlock it. Not a sound. Unlock it. Over. Right. Throw the bag over. You'll pay for this. Oh, no, Lamberger. You're the one who's going to pay. Now throw it over. I would like to say, that is... Father wants to join the resistance, Tal. Glad to have you with us, Furtog. Thank you. This... this makes me very happy. <laughs> <laughs> 